procedure to clean the heat exchanger on the Wiesmann Vito Crossel 200 CI2 boiler. As you can see, we have the burner removed. We'll be using a hard nylon bristle brush to clean the heat exchanger and an appropriate vacuum cleaner. Key takeaway here is no metal brushes should be used for this procedure. So obviously follow appropriate safety guidelines, but for this procedure, we're gonna use the brush and the vacuum cleaner to thoroughly brush all areas of the heat exchanger, 360 degrees, and the rear wall as well. What we're doing here is removing any accumulated combustion debris. There are pockets that travel from the heat exchanger down into the condensate and flue gas collector. Once we're done brushing, it's good to run the vacuum through those just to capture anything that may have fallen into those pockets. After this, we'll do a water flush. In some cases, you may have significant fouling, perhaps a neglected boiler. In that case, we can use a citric acid or phosphoric acid uh, as a combustion side stainless steel cleaner. Obviously, follow all manufacturer's recommendations here for safety, dosing, and wait times. So we're liberally applying Citrus Surf 77 here. Uh, once done with the application, we'll let that wait for the manufacturer's suggested time to break up any uh, difficult combustion debris. Next, we can flush the heat exchanger with water. In some cases, you want to be a little more aggressive than just a hose, and we can use a small pressure washer. We want to limit the pressure here to 120 bar or 1740 PSI and thoroughly flush the heat exchanger. As you can see, we've put some plastic over the controls to protect them from any residual water. Uh, so be careful in that regard. You really want to focus here on those downward pockets that travel to the flue collector. That's where the extra sort of power or force of the pressure washer will help get the heat exchanger clean. 